Psalm 107 verses 1 to 3 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. Those he gathered from the lands. From east and west, from north and south. Have you counted your blessings lately? Did you say, Thank you, Lord, for another day? When you woke up this morning, God's gifts are too numerous to count. God gave us the blessings of life, family, friends, talents, possessions, and so much more. Yet, most of the time, we take these for granted. We are so focused on the problems that we fail to see the blessings he showers on us. God gave us the greatest gift of all. He gave us his son Jesus Christ to die on our behalf so we can have eternal salvation. For most of us, life is busy, hectic, and complicated. We have numerous responsibilities, from sunrise to sunset and even beyond. It is easy to lose sight of God and his blessings in the midst of the daily turmoil. When we forget to slow down and say, thank you, Lord, we rob ourselves of his presence, his peace, his joy. Thanksgiving should become a habit and should be a part of our daily routine. So much has happened in the world in the last few years. However, here we are. We are still alive and God has a purpose and has a wonderful plan for you. So, today, and in the coming days, let us focus our thanksgiving prayers on learning to remain peaceful and content, even in the middle of storms. By doing so, we are not only praising God, we are obeying Him as well. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18, the Bible says, Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Our task as believing Christians is to praise and thank the Lord. Not once a day, not even twice a day, but many times a day. Because God is worthy of our thanksgiving. Psalm 95 verses 1 to 3 says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving, and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Let us bear in mind that if we do not fill our hearts and minds with gratitude to God, the enemy will fill it with something else. Today, let us pause and reflect on what the Lord has done for us. God's blessings are indeed too numerous to count. Let us thank God for giving us the opportunity 
to wake up every day. Let us thank God for the food on the table, roof over our heads, and so much more on the side. Let us thank God for family and loved ones and the love shared all around. Let us thank God for the trials that come our way and the lessons we learned. Let us thank God for the abundance of peace and strength during difficult storms. Friends, let us demonstrate our gratitude to God by using His gifts for the glory of His kingdom. Let us pray. Our Father, you are the God who gave your life for me. You are such a good Father to me, and you are worthy of the highest praises. You sustained me. I am eternally grateful of your great love for me. I praise you Jehovah Jireh, for you are my provider. I am thankful that you withhold no good thing from me. Lord, make me a person with a grateful heart. Please help me to remember all the good that you have bestowed on me. Not only this year, but even years before. The least I can do is be thankful for it, Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your faithfulness, love, and care. Thank you for family and friends, for the good times together. Thank you for our health. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your protection. I am thankful that I can trust you with my life, God. Because you always keep your promises. And you never go back on your word. With gratitude in my heart, I can face my daily duties. And gain perspective and power. Thank you for the trials and difficulties and challenges. Father, I need your strength to continuously praise you. Despite the trials, struggles, and obstacles in life. Lord, help me to love you and praise you. Lord, please purify my heart to be a blessing to the people around me so they can see your goodness through me. And so today, I will praise you with my words and deeds. And may all glory and praises be yours. Amen.